guys welcome back to my channel so you're probably wondering like we haven't chose anything for her to tattoo so it all started last week when i had a tattoo booth but i didn't know what i was going to do and then i actually decided to ask you guys what i should tattoo so i made a poll on instagram but i never told you guys that it was going to be for a tattoo i just told you guys to pick something so yeah you guys picked my tattoo you just don't know yet and i'm going to show you how all of this went through i'm gonna throw the ball to the past me when i was just about to get this all started let's go hey there today is monday and i have my tattoo booked for friday so yeah only a few days left and i have no clue what i'm going to get i have a few ideas but i have nothing concrete to present my tattoo artist so uh yeah i think i'm running kind of late i don't want to miss that booking because he has a busy schedule so yeah let's go and try to find out what i'm going to do so if you follow me for a while now you probably know that i have a few tattoos i made a video about them but i'm going to run through them really quick so I can update you guys. I have an alien tattoo on my left leg and I have a tooth tattoo in my right leg. Then I have this little heart here. I have two small letters on each wrist. Then I have a really thin cross on my ribs. A tattoo here of two moons and some geometric stuff on my left arm. On my fingers I have a hand poke tattoo which is a lot of small dots that I did in Bali. My boyfriend has big tattoos and this time he was going to get another big tattoo and I was like maybe you should have like the whole day or the whole afternoon so I can do a few things as well and I'm going to do small stuff. I'm thinking about doing here on my arm a few stuff. And I have a bunch of ideas but I don't know what to get yet so I'm going to be exploring. I have a folder on Instagram called tattoos that I save any inspo and I have one folder on Pinterest so I'm going to visit both of them so I can remind myself of what I want. So I have this pretty hand tattoo here that is Japanese characters. I really like red tattoos. I think they look so pretty, but for me, since I like to play with color on my clothes, I don't think I want... I know this kind of sounds stupid. Imagine if I have red tattoos and then I wear green. It's going to be a weird combo, so yeah, I prefer my tattoos to be black. But I put this here on my folder because I really like some Japanese characters and I would really like to have uh, something tattooed in Japanese. I thought of tattooing the word baka, which means idiot or stupid, because in anime they are always saying baka, and I think it's such a cute word. Yeah, this is baka. Yeah, so I'm going to add this here in uh, big letters. Okay, let's move on to the next inspo. This is some inspo that I really like this. I would never tattoo this in this place. I think it would look great in my wrist or something, but I don't know. Like, I really wanted to focus on the kawaii stuff this time, so I guess I'm going to pass this one. Um, this I also love, but it's a big tattoo, so I'll probably do something like this, but it's going to be something that I go there to tattoo just this thing alone, because it's kind of bigger, so also going to pass this one. This I would like to get a UFO, I think it's so cute, and the best thing about this is that it's a UFO abducting a unicorn, so it would be fucking perfect for me, but I'm not going to do this either right now, just because I already have an alien, so yeah, I don't think I'm feeling this. Okay, now let's go into this. This is a frog, and I really wanted to tattoo a frog, and here's why. You guys probably know that I'm a huge fan of Naruto. My favorite character in Naruto is Jiraiya, and both Jiraiya and Naruto, because Jiraiya here, I'm such a nerd talking about anime, you guys probably don't give a shit about it, but they have like these packs with frogs that help them with battle and everything, so the problem is that I don't want to tattoo like the Naruto frog, because it's a lot of complicated details and I want something simple and more kawaii. <laughs> Those are kind of cute, I like this one. But it's so much easier when you find something that is already in like contour or black or white because I don't want colors and I, I don't want shading on my tattoos, I just want to contour. I don't know if I'm feeling this, let's keep going. Now after the frog we have a Pikachu and I would love to tattoo something as kawaii as a Pikachu or another Pokemon. My favorite I think would be a Pikachu and Jigglypuff, so let's search. Come on, how cute is this one? I like Pikachu sitting down, I like Pikachu standing up. Oh my god, this is tough. And I'm going to add one of the Pikachus, maybe this one. 
just for us to have options I wanted to do a spider and the thing the weird thing is that I hate spiders I really hate them I'm super afraid of them but I think they are so cool though it's like a love-hate relationship but I'm just going to save it either way so I thought about tattooing this uh, Naruto face that I found on my Instagram this here see the Naruto character here looks so freaking cute I'm going to save this Naruto face here so I'm thinking about tattooing three of these things on my arm like small which one would you pick? probably Naruto the character? Mm -hmm. and I like Jigglypuff Naruto and Jigglypuff? yeah so you prefer uh, Jigglypuff to Pikachu? yes yes <laughs> I think I'm going to ask my followers to choose the things that are you risky no, because, no, because you, you like them are, also. Yeah, yeah, both are cute, right? So let's ask you guys on Instagram. It's ready to post. It's sent to my story now. It's on your side to pick. Maybe I see you tomorrow or the next day or whatever. So guys, it's currently the next day. So it's Tuesday and the tattoo is on Friday. And it's almost 24 hours since I posted my story asking if you prefer Pikachu or Jigglypuff So I haven't checked my stories at all this day, so I have no clue which one is winning And it's time for us to see I'm kind of anxious and scared I like them both, so I don't know, I don't think it's that dramatic, but I don't know it's weird when someone chooses something for you let's pass these stories forward and here we go yay pikachu won actually almost a tie 40 percent for jigglypuff and 60 percent for pikachu i thought it was going to be pikachu winning because it's the most popular character of pokemon but i'm actually surprised that jigglypuff got so many votes Hey, I'm excited, Pikachu it is! So I guess you guys prefer the Pikachu, I also love Pikachu, so at least one of the tattoos was already completely planned and decided. So I spent the next few days just printing the designs and trying to look at them and see like sizes and trying to make up my mind in terms of which tattoos looked good next to each other. And time flew by so quickly and before I knew it, it was the day of the tattoo and I was ready to do it. So guys, we are on our way to the tattoo studio. It's like a half an hour drive, so yeah. It's a, such a cold and rainy day, as you can see. That's why I'm wearing the extra puffy jacket. And yesterday I got a call from Danielle, which is the tattoo artist, and he called me asking what I was going to do so he could make the stencils ready and I wasn't expecting the call so I had to make a decision really quickly and tell him what I was going to do so my decision was to do the Pikachu that you guys chose I also chose the spider to kind of balance and then I also sent him the Baka Iragana characters just because since I'm not going to do the Naruto tattoo, like the Naruto face actually Baka really reminds me of Naruto and Naruto and Jiraiya especially like one clip that I love from Naruto yeah, I'm excited. When I got there, it was time for stencils and to make sure everything looked good next to one another in terms of the three tattoos. And then it was time for the actual tattooing. It was very fast, it was like 45 minutes, it was super easy, most like painless, very easy to tattoo on the arm, and in a few minutes we were done. I actually went tattooing yesterday, so now it's been almost like 24 hours since I got my tattoos and I want to show you guys. Here is a little spider, as you can see. Here is the hiragana characters for Baka. And this is the tattoo you guys chose, the beautiful Pikachu. But I just want to thank you guys for helping me with this video and I hope you guys like this content and more of this type of content. So let me know in the comments if this is what you guys like. Bye guys, love you!